What's up everyone, TechLoud here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, play your uh, PlayStation games using the PlayStation emulator on your Android device. I'm going to demonstrate it on uh, Node 3, however you can use uh, any Android device which uh, has the uh, 2.3 to up to 4.3 uh, Android version so it doesn't matter as, as long as it has a good processor inside. So all you have to do is download an emulator from the Play Store. I have actually uh, downloaded an emulator called FPSC, which which I purchased long time ago. So I used uh, this one, and you can uh, put uh, your uh, gaming ROMs uh, either you can put on the internal memory of the phone, or you can put it on a thumb drive, and you use a US, uh, USB OTG cable to connect the thumb drive. So uh, uh, I have actually on my thumb drive, so let me connect the USB OTG cable and use it from my thumb drive the, that I have. So as I connect, it, it has uh, read the thumb drive. So let's go back and let's launch the FPSC. When you r uh, run this one first time, it's gonna ask you uh, to accept a few terms and conditions. Just accept those and uh, go to the advanced menu if you want. This is the advanced one. You can go to the easy one as well. This one is the advanced one for advanced. First time, you, what you have to do is load BIOS. It actually needs uh, a BIOS file which I have, I have on my thumb drive. So I will select the USB A and this is the BIOS file, this one here, scph1001.bin so let's select that one and let's load again it's also on my USB thumb drive and go to ROMs and let's uh, load actually the Street Fighter let's load this one so as you can see it is showing all the buttons and it is loading the game if I tilt it like that it will become full screen and it looks actually kind of better that way so you can actually use the PS3 controller with the, this PlayStation emulator instead of using this on screen button so I'm gonna demonstrate both let's press the, it's still loading so let's load this one okay. It's done now. So let's press the start, start button. Street Fighter Alpha 3. And let's play the arcade mode. Select your character. Let's play with Ryu. Select your fighting style. Okay, let's whatever Actually, it's not easy to play with the on-screen control, so I've lost this one. So let's try to play this one using the PS3 controller. So guys, uh, what I have done is we I have uh, removed the thumb drive and I have uh, attached the 
PS3 controller using the USB OTG cable with this one and now the gaming ROM is available in the internal memory of the phone so let's load a game and as you can see here now the controller is also working like that so I can select the game using the controller as well and as you can see it's now working and this is the Tekken 3 and it's working flawlessly what you can do is you can turn off these controls as well go to settings then gamepad then go to overlay gamepad and go to gamepad trans transparency and select full transparent so now there are no on screen buttons and everything will be controlled using the controller as I press the start button it will work let's play the arcade mode and as you can see I'm using the USB uh, PS3 controller with uh, this PlayStation emulator Oh man, come on, pick up! Ah, I lost another one. So I have won this one, so let's try to load another game, it used to be one of my favorites, let's try the driver, I don't have actually the ROM probably, yeah, so let's load the Tekken again. So as you can see uh, now it's very easy to play using the PS3 controller because nothing can be beat the physical controller. Let me reduce the sound a little bit. Yeah as you can see uh, it's now very easy to play using the PS3 controller and actually nothing can uh, beat the physical controller and the I mean the utility of the physical controller and if you are you have uh, one available then uh, why not use uh, that one for playing all the games oh man I lost another one so I know I, I don't play this game very well it's been ages since I've played uh, this one so guys uh, I hope uh, that you have liked the video thanks for watching and uh, you can play any any of your uh, favorite games using uh, the same method so it doesn't have to be a Note 3 you can use uh, actually any Android mobile phone which uh, can support uh, these things for the controller the mobile should support uh, the USB OTG cable or either it doesn't support that one then you have to root it and install a utility called uh, 6 axis controller that, that can pair the PS3 controller using the Bluetooth. I will make a, a video about that one as well. Actually, I, I made a, one video earlier in, uh, I believe, uh, six months ago or something. So I will leave a link of all these things uh, in the description. I will leave the link of the emulator. I will le leave the link of the PS3 6 axis controller application as well if you want to root otherwise no need to root you can uh, uh, use the USB cable and uh, connect your uh, PS3 controller and also I will leave the, uh, the link for the video that how you can uh, pair PS3 controller using the Bluetooth 
So I hope uh, that you have enjoyed the video. If you like the video, then please press the thumbs up button at the bottom and uh, subscribe for more useful videos. See you later. Bye.